hi guys welcome back to my channel now do you find it really hard to get everything done do you find that you're doing everything and you just don't know where to turn in terms of your handmade business I'm here to help you with advice tips and tricks on how to be successful in your handmade business so today I thought I'd come on and discuss ways to get help in order to help your handmade business to grow and succeed you need to be able to manage your business not work in your business but you need to be working in order for it to grow you can't still be making your products let's say at some point you would need to outsource that piece of work to somebody else whether it's virtual or practical you would need to ask somebody to help you produce that product or to help you manage certain parts of the business. At the moment, you're probably the creator, the designer, the website designer, the social media marketer, all kinds of stuff. You're doing everything to help run your business and you cannot do everything. I thought about ways in which I kind of outsource work when I can't do everything. So there are websites out there that help you to get help and I, I just thought I'd come on and tell you all about them. So the first one is Fiverr.com. Fiverr.com is amazing. They've got so many freelancers out there that help individuals create certain things that, that we're not expertise in so um, a web developer let's say a web developer will come on and you pay them five dollars perfect so I've hired freelancers to design my logos design some of my prints I've even had a designer do a mock design of my website and and it's perfect I mean it's a really good way to outsource and to ask for that extra bit of help you can even ask a freelancer, let's just say if you've got 100 products that you've got to put on your website, yes, 100 products, you know that's going to take a long time. To sit there and upload them will take a lifetime and also it takes you away from what you should be doing in terms of growing other, in other ways, whether it be social media, whether it be networking. It puts you in a place where you can't move, you have to do this before you can move on to the next thing and that's not what you want to do obviously you have to explain exactly what you want they do have what i think is really good a ratings out of five so obviously if they've got five then you can then you know to trust them just look at fiverr.com i think they're really good there's also freelancer.com and they also do freelancing there's loads of freelancers on there that would outsource jobs for you and they'll do all kinds of there's virtual assistants there's so many people out there that you can outsource to in order to do work for you. Um, People.com, guru.com, probably I'll leave the links below so you can check them all out. But yeah, definitely look into outsourcing some of your work. If you feel that you want someone more practical and you want, and you want a more hands-on job, done completed let's say if you need um, jewelry to be made you can ask a local university or a college there's students out there that are waiting to graduate and they would need some sort of work experience there's there could potentially be students out there looking for little jobs to do on a weekend or part-time during the week that you can actually outsource jobs to them reach out to your local college university and see whether there's anybody out there that is looking for work friends and family yes i know friends and family they can be a bit flaky at times and we do have flaky family members don't we you can reach out to them i would say don't mix business and pleasure or family and pleasure or whatever it is sometimes it's nice to know that you do have family around you that can help. Some some people may have experience in certain things that you probably need. Reach out to your own family and friends. I mean, just let them know that you're you need help in this certain area and they they could possibly help out. I sometimes have 
my um, cousins come and help me make books, friends and family that come and help de design certain things for me. So it's a way to just expand your family relationships, I suppose. Yeah, just ask whoever's around. You never know, there could be somebody in your close vicinity that would be able to be helpful. I would say maybe you could do favour for favour. So let's just say if I need someone to edit my video in exchange for something else, I would do them a favour and they would return a favour to me. So you're kind of paying each other back by doing favours, which I think is a really good way to exchange experiences and jobs and, and outsourcing. Let's just say if I did ask somebody to edit my video, I would sort of like bake, and, bake them a cake or um, take them out for a meal or something. You know, just a way to just say thank you and know that they are appreciated in the job that they, they've just done for you. So those are the ways that I would get help in order to help my business run along. What type of help do you ask for? And how do you get help? Do you do do you go online on freelance? Do you ask people for favours? Leave any comments below and I'll be happy to respond to them. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.